I want you nothing. What are you doing? Learning about mammoths. How tall is a mammoth? I guess they can. Elephants have adapted to live in their surroundings. <laughs> For example, African elephants have developed large ears so that they can cool themselves in hot weather. Elephants have developed long tusks that protect them from their predators. You know, elephants have shock absorbers in their feet. Over time, elephants have evolved in their new bone structure, giving them more power and protection over their enemies. Oh, Grand Bat, do you have any ancestors? I bet elephants do! You may not have known this, but the elephant didn't only have one ancestor, it actually had many. There was the Moetherium, which was the first of the elephant's ancestors. It was a stubby, nose-like creature that kind of looked like an anteater today. It had a small nose and small ears and no tusks. <coughs> the next elephant has larger tusks, a little bit of a nose, it's named the Trilophondon. It's really cool, has like four tusks, which is pretty awesome. And you know, all in all, it's starting to look a little less like an anteater. So next we have the Mammothus primigenius. This was when the elephant's ancestors started to become more developed. This was one of the most latest of the elephant's ancestors. This is when it started to develop develop a more nose-like tusk that could be used as a hand and to hear noises like bumps and snaps and stuff. The last one is the elephant now. It has a little bit of shorter tusks from the mammoth and larger ears to cool itself down from things like hot weather and maybe even cold weather. Elephants are hunted every year for their tusks. Did you know elephant tusks are worth twice as much as gold? This is why so many poachers hunt elephants. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you thought this was informational about elephants and about their ancestors. Shalom, follow our video.